Remember that there's nothing like self-knowledge. There's no knowledge in the world that can beat self-knowledge. The person that knows how he works, what his habits are, who he's dealing with. Because remember, you're not just one person. You're you dealing with you. So the guy who knows how to deal with himself the best, again, his patterns, his thoughts, his habits, his bad habits, his preferences, schedules, the guy who knows how to deal with that and plan according to himself is the winner. He's always going to be on top because he's not going to be surprised. It's just like the, the people are like, oh, you know, uh, you just can't trust people. That's a problem. You can't trust them. I'm like, no, dude, you can't trust them, but you can trust them to be sometimes untrustworthy. So, you know, when something bad happens, something somebody does something bad, you're not going to be like, oh my God, why did you fucking do that? You're going to be like, Oh, okay, that's part of human behavior. Sometimes people do stupid shit, that, you know. <laughs> cool, no big deal. So now it doesn't surprise you anymore. So make sure you don't have any fucking blind spots. You know, be open-minded. Be, be, be really, really open-minded. Like, don't try to rationalize shit. No, it's not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to do it like this. No, be open-minded. Look at your behaviors in a very objective sense. Oh, when this happens, I do this. When this happens, I do that. You know, it happened to me... Uh, you know, when I was 16, like I would go out every single day alone, try to approach women. I, w I would just wouldn't be able to. And then I would be like, oh, fuck it, you dumb fucking retard. I hate yourself, you know. And again, simply, okay, when I go out alone, I can't approach women. When I go out, go out with people, I always approach women. So don't fucking shove that here. No, no, it has to be this way. No, see who you are, see where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, how you work, then base your day around that. Why change yourself? instead of just using what you have and leveraging that to the best of your abilities. Self-knowledge, fucking key. Use it, okay? Open-minded, objective, boom. I wanted to make one last point on this subject and just give you an example that just happened. So as I told you in the last video, I've been going uh, to this course with my best friend, who is also uh, kind of an independent guy. So really really good fit and we uh, were supposed to meet up at this hour here and he first of all had to drop something off in the mail and he said hey I'm uh, you know there's no he told me there's no reason why he'd be late and then he ended up ended up being late so I asked him what happened he's like hey you know it's the mail I got there first and uh, you know, I thought that if I'll come first, it will take it'll be quick, but something happened, so I'm not first. Well, I told him, look, you know, it's the mail. <laughs> the mail, at least in Israel, is always late. It's a privatized company, a uh, government company, so there's no competition, so, so they basically aren't driven to do better and better. So I'm like, look, dude, <laughs> uh, that's, ex that's expected. You should have put that in. So, uh, not just about yourself, also don't make any assumptions about the external world where, again, I talked about people and how people are going to be people, so you can always trust people to be people. So when somebody betrays you or does something stupid, don't be like, oh my god, you know, you should expect that at some point so that when it happens, you're like, oh, okay, I, I guess it would happen. Again, don't be pessimistic when I'm saying don't. You know, nothing's perfect. Nobody's all, always going to be perfect. Nobody always going to be bad. So there's always going to be a bit of both. So the same with the external environment. Uh, don't make assumptions. Don't be like, oh, I know that this service is always, always late. But if I get early, maybe it will be good. Because again, that's a source of disappointment. Always uh, hope for the best. Uh, assume the worst. Uh, sort of keep, again, it's, it's a middle thing. And that way you get there and you're late or it takes a lot longer than you thought, you'll be like, oh, okay, that's expected. You don't want to be surprised in life because it, it, the more higher you get in the ladder of success, the less room you have to be surprised. Now, obviously, surprises occur <laughs> if you look at, you know, big banks busting out, stuff like that. But, but you want to minimize that as much as possible. So the more knowledge you have about yourself, the economy, your clients, your environment, you know, any, everything, everything in your, in your, who you are and where you are, if you know everything about that or as much as possible, 
the odds of being surprised are much less, uh, much, much lower. And then when the big surprises come, it's not like built on top of other surprises. It's not like, oh, I'm late and this happened and this happened. It's like, okay, something big happened. Let's deal with it instead of being on top of all, all sorts of shit. So when the bad shit happens, you, you're on top of your shit. So you know how to deal with it as effectively as possible. But imagine if you don't understand people, you don't understand the economy, you don't understand yourself, and then something bad happens, you don't know how to deal with it because you can't manage yourself. You don't know how to deal with your employees because you don't know how to manage, manage them expect, uh, in good expectation. You're like, oh, they should do this, they should do that. But again, will they? Will they do this? Will they do that? Oh, the economy should do this, but will it do it? I should be able to do it. No, I should be focused, but will you be? Again, knowledge of yourself and your environment is key. It's what, it's, it's one of the most important skills you can have. And that's why I stress habit so much because when you have consistency, okay, when you hold yourself accountable to be consistent in life, then it's like a playground where you get to always test and learn more about yourself and about your habits and about your, how you react to different environments because life is gonna give shit anyway. There's no single human being on earth and I wish it was like that, but there's no such thing as, for example, the, the environment to stay the same. One day this happens, one day that happens, one day it's an emergency, one, one day something good happens. So you learn, again, you're a habit artist. You learn how to weave the habits into your days. And that's how you learn self-mastery. Self-mastery becomes, uh, comes before everything. And then you learn environment mastery and eventually you'll rule the world. <laughs> Go win.